in this chapter we'll talk about atmosphere and the active human activities which are impacting or which are creating problems or which are affecting the our natural atmosphere so this is chapter number 7 and uh, i think you have a idea if you are taking chemistry in chemistry they have given the air and water chapter they have given some introduction about this one so first of all we will see what is atmosphere if you will see that let's suppose this is our earth around the earth we have air the air which surrounded us from all the side so this air which surrounded our from all the side all this is known as atmosphere and after the atmosphere the space will start in the space you know that there is no air nothing this atmosphere is divided into different categories different types different layers we'll study about that one but i think now you got the idea what is atmosphere around the earth we have a sea of air or you can say air surrounded the earth from all the side the a that area which contain airs around the earth that's known as atmosphere now we will see that the first thing the composition of the atmosphere composition means it is made of what so if you will see the the main you can say the fractions are the main components which are there in the atmosphere number 1 is nitrogen and that is 78% and in some books you will find it 79% and oxygen is 21% and some books you will find 20% and 1% that is argon and sometimes there send noble gases and also there are some trace trace amount means small very very small amount of carbon dioxide neon helium methane krypton hydrogen nitrous oxide xenon ozone iodine carbon dioxide monoxide and ammonia so small amount of all these also present there so this is the main composition of the atmosphere like nitrogen is 78% oxygen they are main and other noble gases and carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and other things also there so this is the main composition now if you want to draw it in the form of a you can say pie chart so you can draw it in this way here you can see that 78% is nitrogen 21% oxygen and this 1% is other gases now we'll see that more detail of that 1% okay if you see that 1% so you can divide that 1% here in this part here there are permanent gases if you see nitrogen oxygen argon and noble gases they are the permanent gases which always in the atmosphere but there are some other gases which are given here they are not permanent they are variable variable means their percentage and their presence is changing time to time and area to area okay and uh, we will see that one how it is what are the variables for example if you talk about the first one that is water vapors these are variables it mean that variable mean the gases which are not permanent sometimes they are present sometimes they are not present sometimes they are present in a large quantity sometimes in a less quantity so here water vapors you know that if the humidity level if the humidity level is high so it mean water vapors will be high and this happens in the areas the coastal areas like seaside area like in uh, saudi arabia you have the mam jubail jidda and if you talk about the sudan you have port sudan these these areas you'll find water vapors more in the atmosphere 
after after that carbon dioxide again carbon dioxide you know that it is uh, produced by humans and also burning that if there are lot of polluted area where the cars car or the factories a lot so that carbon dioxide amount will be more but if a area like uh, you have a forest area where all the carbon dioxide is absorbed by the plants and that atmosphere you will find less carbon dioxide then you have methane it means this natural gas if it is found in some area you will find more quantity then you have nitrous oxides then ozone all these one they are very able quantity so sometime you'll find in a large quantity and sometime you'll find a very low quantity so these are the difference between variable and permanent gases got it the idea yes yeah. okay. now we'll move to the next components now we'll see the components which are in the atmosphere what is their percentage and what is their importance for example you see nitrogen nitrogen in the atmosphere this is 78.09 percent it's good for the plants growth oxygen this percentage 20.95 produced by photosynthesis is used in respiration water vapors that this is a percentage sources uh, source for precipitation if there's no water vapors no precipitation provides most of the natural greenhouse gases oxygen you will find there even the carbon dioxide nitrogen oxide all they have oxygen with them uh, sorry sorry water vapors so you'll find that to provide most natural greenhouse gases so from here the gases are comes and uh, vital for existence of life yes of course carbon dioxide used for the plant for photosynthesis greenhouse then argon this is the percentage and its traces are found so argon traces you'll find they can create an inert atmosphere that protect material from reacting with oxygen and other gases yes for example if there is uh, they will cover something if the noble gases cover something from south so they will not allow anything to go get in so that they can say that atmosphere that protects material from reacting with oxygen or other gases then you have non gaseous particles like dust so what the dust will do they absorb and reflect incoming short wave radiation water vapors condense in the particles form droplets ice crystals and after that you have pollutant sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxide they can lead to smoke acid rain ozone depletion and the enhanced greenhouse effect so all these are the components which are present in the atmosphere and now we saw their percentage and their importance or their effects is it clear yes 